Welcome to our 60 minute total body strength and core workout. I'm Rebecca Gahan with Kick at 55 Fitness. Today, you simply need a pair of dumbbells. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell so you receive all of our notifications. All right, we're gonna get started with the cardio warm up. We have 10 squat jumps. We start right now. So we squat down, jump up. If you don't want to jump, you can just air squat. 10 total. And getting down, cross mountain climbers, hands directly beneath your shoulders, opposite knee, under opposite underarm. We're here for 30 seconds, we're not counting. When we stand up, we have 10 jack squats. And arms are wide, legs are wide. And up, 10. And high knees, 30 seconds here. So getting those knees up, above your pelvic bones. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. And fifteen squat jumps. Squat down, jump up. Fifteen. Getting down, cross mountain climbers. 30 seconds here. Jack squats. Arms wide, legs wide. High knees. All right, we're coming to our last set for the warm up. This time we have 20 squat jumps. And getting down, 20 squat jumps. down, cross mountain climbers, 30 seconds. jack squats.
finally high knees and then we are done with the warm up. Sitting back a little bit, engaging that core. Get some water. We're gonna get started with circuit one. Mm. Okay, so we do have a combination of upper body, lower body, and core, which is why I kicked my mat over. So circuit one, everything's timed and it has an order reversal. We're gonna start with alternating forward lunges with a dumbbell press up. Okay, so we're gonna forward lunge, press up. Forward lunge, press up. If that's too hard for you, forward lunge, press up when your legs are standing together. Just like that. Halfway. We're going down for man makers next. It feels good, a new beginning. We are free at last. Living life just like we're supposed to. Goodbye to the past. And letting go of the time. Good job, man makers. Getting down. Right arm row. Left arm row. Push up, feet jump to hands, hammer curl, press up. You've got it. Again, row, row. Look slightly forward, push up, feet jump to hands, hammer curl, press up. Halfway through this. Row, row, push up. Feet jump to hands, hammer curl, press up. Final one. Row, row. Push up, feet jump to hands, hammer curl, press up. Okay, next. Side plank, knee in. So we're gonna get down on our right elbow. Legs are stacked. We're gonna bring our left elbow to our right knee with our right hip elevated. And other side, onto our left elbow. And time. Last exercise in this circuit. We're gonna go wide squat to narrow squat. So we step out, wide squat. Step in, narrow. See, my knees are not touching. They're about a fist apart. I'm stepping out. I'm alternating whether my right steps out first or my left. Or you can say, I'm gonna go halfway, stepping out with my right, stepping in with my right, and then switch to the left. Or halfway. So we're squatting, wide, and narrow. Couple more seconds. Time. So that completes set one. Two more sets and it's an order reversal. So we go from the bottom to the top. Take a deep breath. Let's go. Wide squat. Bring it in. Narrow. Wide, narrow. Halfway, so if you wanna switch your lead leg, now's the time, or you switch it every other rep. And 
and time. Put the dumbbells down. We're gonna go side plank knees, but starting on the left elbow. Legs are straight, hips stacked over each other, parallel or perpendicular with the floor. Let's go. And switch sides. Okay, now we're going to man makers. We're going down. Two renegade rows. One push up. Deep jump to hands. Hammer curl. Press up. And whew, we're gonna end this circuit where we started, or this set, alternating forward lunges with a press up. Remember, if you don't wanna press up at the bottom of this lunge, you can press up when you're standing. Last one. Okay, if you want to put the dumbbells down for a second, that's fine. And we're going to go top to bottom, set three. Last set. Woo. Okay. Here we go. Over halfway. Going to man makers next. Almost there. And time. Man makers. Here we go. Row. Row. Push up. Get one more in. Done. Side plank, knee ins. Okay, stacking those legs, knee to elbow. And switch.
Okay, wide squats to narrow squats. Here we go. Halfway. And done with circuit. One. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, Whew. moving on to circuit two. We're going to do 10 repetitions, first round, 12 the second, and 14 the third. And if you can't hit those number of reps, it's okay. You can do whatever reps you feel comfortable doing. Maybe it's 11, maybe it's nine. Doesn't have to be an absolute. So we're gonna start with the dumbbells in both hands. We have 10 reverse lunges on the right side with a bicep curl. So let's get started. So I'm just staying on my right side. Now on the left side. See how my palm is facing up? It's not a hammer curl. A broken glass while I'm thinking in my head. Mm -hmm. I mind my own, I don't even break a sweat. Oh. This matters, is it safe? Why okay, put the dumbbells aside. We're going to a partial burpee. There's gonna be no jumping. You're gonna stand at the top. It's wide leg with a jack push up. So we're going to squat down, wide legs, push up. Now there is some jumping here. Feet jump to hands, stand up. 10 of these. Squat down, wide legs, push up. Feet come back in, stand up. 10 total. So this is not a lot of jumping around. It's very precise. Definitely more of a strength move. We squat, hold it, stand, squat, wide leg. And if you can't do that push up, just do that wide leg burpee. Focus on the squatting to the standing. I have three more. Two more. One more. Okay. Whew, you might need a second. Pick up those dumbbells again. 12 of everything. 12 right leg reverse lunges, right side bicep curl. Let's go. Twelve of these. Okay, switch legs. Twelve. Inside lane, missing exits. Include to the pavement between the lines. I keep my gate straight ahead as the last stop flies by. No more waiting for the gun to fire. No more walking through revolving doors. I've gone around once. I don't need to go around anymore. Break away, get your sober case. Stop dwelling on empty words. Stop stalling in the doorway. Cancel the cruise. Control. Whew. Definitely 
definitely feel that. When I do that on my left side, and my right quad. Okay, 12 of those burpees, but again, burpee to squat, wide leg, push up. Let's go, squat, wide leg, 12. One more. Okay, I'm gonna towel off for a second. Then we go to set three. Oh, 14 reps. Here we go. Whew, catch my breath. 14. Feel that in your left quad? I do. All right, time to hit that right quad Whew. and that left bicep. 14. Job. Okay, finale a circuit two. 14 of these burpee wide leg push ups. Squat, plank, push up. I'm gonna come down from 14. That's 12. Five to go. to go. Get some water. Oh. So circuit three. It's going to be all timed. Oh. We squat with a dumbbell horizontal chest press. Lateral lunges with a squat. I'm just telling you this while I catch my breath. And then two renegade rows Whew. to a bungee. Okay. So we're going to take a single dumbbell. We're gonna extend it out from our chest. Hands are gripping both heads. Let's do it. 30 seconds, squat, press it out. Wow, my quads. Whew, that's great. I'm only in circuit three. And I really, I'm starting to feel the soreness in my quads. It's a great workout. And 
time. Pick up a second dumbbell. We have a lateral lunge with a squat in the middle. So we're gonna step out to the right. Dumbbell on each side. Step in the middle, squat. Step out to the left, squat in the middle. Step out to the right, lateral lunge. Step in the middle, squat. Over halfway. Feeling this in your side of your hips, your glutes. Wonderful exercise. And time, getting down. We're gonna do two renegade rows, one bungee. You might be saying, Rebecca, this is cardio. No, we're gonna do it very slow and controlled. Row, row, feet come into a squat, plank, row, row. The intention is to utilize some of the lower body as we're attacking the upper body. Row, row, jump to a squat, back in. Row, row, jump in, plank. You've got it. But we're not just jumping for time or number of reps. Just bring it in. You can also walk it into that squat, walk it out to a plank. Okay, that was set one. We start again with set two. Nothing's changing. Squat with a chest press. Let's do it. Couple more. And pick up that second dumbbell. Lateral lunges to a squat. Here we go. Lunge. Squat in the middle. Lateral lunge. Squat in the middle. You've got it. Time. Okay, two renegade rows, one bungee. Squat, plank, again, or you can walk it out. Okay, final set here. Squat with a horizontal chest press. Here we go. And time. Lateral lunge to a squat. We're almost done with circuit three. Whew. Lunge in the middle. Lunge in the middle. Got it. One more lunge on the left side. Squat in the middle. Way to go. Okay. Two renegade rows plus a squat. Squat. 
One more. Then we're done. Way to go. Get some water, towel off. We're going to circuit four. There are four sets in circuit four. One set timed, three set challenge. And there are five exercises. It's gonna be fun. So we're gonna start off with a goblet squat to a press up. So your feet are turned out 10 and two o'clock. Holding the dumbbell below your chin. So our feet are externally rotated. Let's go. Squat down, press it up. Over halfway. Okay, we're going down now. Two parts to this movement. First, our legs are coming in and out. So our back is on the ground. We're contracting our lower abs, knees come in, extend out. At the same time, we have a chest press. So we're gonna take our dumbbells. As the weights come down, knees come in, weights go up, press it out. Thinking about your lower abs, again, if this is bothering your lower back, bring your feet closer to the floor, drag them along the floor. Also, you can put your head on the ground. I more so have my head elevated so I can talk to you. We're gonna stay here because we have glute lifts. You can take one dumbbell, two, one heavier dumbbell. I'm just gonna use one single dumbbell and really focus on my form, bridging up, okay, to this glute lift. Really thinking about my glutes, getting up there. You might not be able to go as high. Do whatever you can do. And then, again, squeeze at the top. Over halfway on this, there's gonna be a lot of reps in this circuit, so get ready. And time. Okay, next up, stationary lunges, right leg. Feet are straddled a little bit, not on a tight rope. Bring that knee down and up or as close to the ground as possible. We'll switch legs momentarily. So like I said, we have three sets. The reps that I am offering you are 20, 15, and 10. But you might say, no way, Rebecca. I think I'm gonna do 15, 12, and 10. That's too high going to 20. You do whatever you can do. All I want you to do though is start with a high number and then work your way down. Switch legs. So you're starting with a high volume. Again, another way to shock your body. Sometimes we do a ladder going up, sometimes going down, or more like a pyramid where we start low, go high in the middle, and then end low. Again, just different ways to shock your body. Because the same fundamental exercises, as you noticed, are usually present in these workouts. It's more about the way that we package them. Okay, so we are off and running. Single dumbbell, goblet squat to a press up. 20 repetitions, let's go. Getting those hips to descend below the knees if you can.
But I see the light from far away. It's down the line. Maybe I should not give up without a fight. And there will be a 20. Whew. Now, those chest press with the knee in and out. Again, everything's 20, easy to remember. Let's go. Keeping that lower back on the ground, contracting the lower abs. Fifteen, I have five remaining. And twenty. Way to go. Okay, I'm gonna put that dumbbell laid across my hips. Glute lifts, twenty. Really raising those hips. Those hips high, squeezing the glutes. 15. Twenty. Okay. Stationary lunges on the right. I know this is a killer now, I know. Okay. Twenty. Fifteen. Ten. Five. One. Okay. All right, left leg in front, 20. Five more to go. And 20. I know. Okay. Squat with a press up. <sighs> Third set. 15. Oh, sorry. Gobble squats. Make sure they're turned out. And one. Whew. Chest press. Move in and out. Here we go. 15. And the 10. All right, lay that dumbbell across your hips. 15 hip lifts.
Okay, I might have done a couple extra. That's okay. Okay, 15 stationary lunges on the right, 15 on the left. We'll do a set of 10, and then we are done with circuit four. Okay, switching legs. 15 on the left, then we do one set of 10, and then we're done. Final set, 10 goblet squats with a press up. Feet turned out, 10 and two o'clock. Here we go. Nice job. 10, chest press. Knees coming in and out. In the darkest night, I saw your eyes. A sense of threat that I can't forget. I want to know who you are. This is what I need to know. So take Ten, make these really quality ones. Stick it at the top, maybe even hold it for a second. And finally, 10 stationary lunges per side. switch legs. This is it for circuit four. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get some water towel off. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's start with circuit five. Three sets, all time, 30 seconds, first upright rows. Bring those elbows up by the ears. There's no tricks here. It's just all timed. Working front delts, rear delts, upper back. I'm actually getting a little bit of the biceps and triceps. Making sure that you have that pelvic tilt, utilizing that core. We're going to dud bugs next in four, three, two, and one. Put the dumbbells down. We're gonna lie on our back, supine position. Knees are over the hips. Head on the ground, arms in the air. I'm gonna take my left leg extended as my right arm comes back by my ear. Bring it back up. Right arm extends as my left arm falls back to my ear. Hold it here. Feel this in your core, on the side. When done correctly, this is a very effective core exercise. If you do it too fast, 
or you don't hold it. You don't push your back into the ground. Whew. That it's not nearly as effective. Also, if you struggle with lower back pain, this is a wonderful way to train your core to work effectively and then take the stress off your lower back. And I feel like I just did this arm and I can't chew gum and talk at the same time. Okay, finally, side to side squats. Getting every part of the lower body today. So we're going to the side, squat, back to center, out to the side. This is not a lunge. Both legs are squatting. A lunge has one leg. Each leg is in a different position. And we do that lateral lunge. One leg is straight, one leg is contracted. And going back to upright rows. Here we go. Second set of three. Now, if you want to make the dead mugs a little more difficult, you can attach, and we're not going to do this today, but you can attach um, your knee to a band that's anchored somewhere. So we're adding some resistance to it or put some ankle weights on. Just some ideas outside the box. All right, let's go to dead bugs. I'm not going to talk. Here we go. And opposite arm and leg extend. Time. Okay, coming back up, bottom of the third, side to side squats. And if you don't want to have a suitcase hold, you can hold the dumbbells up by your shoulders. Squat, legs together, squat. There you go. Over halfway. And time. Final set, upright rows. Okay, dead bugs. Side to side squats. And then we'll be moving on to circuit six. Okay, get some water. Circuit six. 10 repetitions, then 12, then 14. So it's a ladder up. We're gonna start in plank position, hands directly underneath your shoulders. We're gonna take our opposite knee to our opposite hand and touch. So this is one, 10 of these. Two, keeping your core tight. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Second exercise, squat to hammer curl to press up. 10 total. Squat down, hammer curl, press up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, getting down. Tricep dips. So we're gonna have our fingertips facing our toes. Get nice and low. 10. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Opposite hand to opposite knee. 12 total. We go again. Woo, I lost my balance. Twelve. Nice job. Squat to hammer curl to press up. Twelve. Okay, 12 tricep dips. Here we go. Okay, opposite knee to opposite hand, 14. This is our last set here. Exercise. I want you to think about contracting your core, drawing it in. Okay, 14 squats, hammer curl, press up. Fourteen. Fourteen tricep dips, and then we are done with circuit six. Moving on to our final circuit of the day, circuit seven. And fourteen. Get some water. We're gonna start with circuit seven. We're gonna hold one weight, no weights. Starting with no weights, we have standing fire hydrants. So you can also have a band around your knees if you want to create some resistance. We're bringing our knees up, but again, you can hold a weight. Okay, so if you're ready, you got your balance, hold the weight here, working on that side glute. Think about the glutes. Switch legs.
Okay, bicep curl 21. So we have seven bicep curls, low to mid. Seven, mid to high. And seven, all the way down, all the way up. Okay, flutter kicks. Horizontally. No, actually, let's do them vertically. Change my mind. Bring them up. Okay, lower abs engaged, head elevated. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Guess what? It's an order reversal, so now. We're gonna start where we left off, vertically. You can raise your torso a little bit. It's more of a crunch. We're engaging then the upper abs as we engage the lower abs. 10 seconds, then we go to bicep curl 21s. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Bicep curl 21s. Seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, five, six, seven, all the way down, all the way up. Five, six, seven. Okay, starting with the left leg fire hydrants because we're doing order reversal. That balance and switch again you can put a band just above the knee make it even more intense all right guys this is going to be our last set last circuit of the day right side standing fire hydrants this is it going top to bottom Also put a dumbbell, a really light one, behind your knees. I don't have a lot of luck, especially if I'm sweaty, it usually just rolls off. I spend half the time trying to keep it in between my You can also put an ankle weight on, that's another idea. And bicep curl 21s, seven. Three, two, one, mid to high. All the way down. And 30 seconds of these vertical flutter kicks, which will take us to the end of class today. If you want, crunch a little bit. Here we go. We are almost done. Getting ready. Halfway there. Crunch up a little bit more or take it all the way back. 10 seconds. Come on a little bit faster. Really feel the tightening of this core. And done. Stop right there. What do you think you're doing? Stay tuned for our next video and click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.